it's not very graceful, but just getting off the ground at all is progress for this bald eagle. When he was found a few weeks ago in Waste Management's landfill in Okeechobee, all he could do was hop. Well, I noticed that the eagle tried to fly but couldn't fly, and that's when I knew something was wrong. Jones called Arnold's Wildlife. First step for them, capture the eagle. Even though he couldn't fly, that is still not easy. Throw the towel over him, make sure to grab his talons because that's what normally would hurt you. Not the beak, the talons, they'll tear you apart just like a razor blade. Martin was able to grab the bird and get him to the center. He has since been transferred to the Treasure Coast Wildlife Center for rehab. The bird has been named JJ after the guy who found him. Nobody's certain what happened to JJ or why he can't fly. He has no broken bones or obvious injuries. The guess is he lost a fight to another eagle and has a sprain or a puncture wound. It still is able to use all of the parts, but not use them powerfully enough to lift itself off the ground. And had John Jones not spotted him, JJ surely would not have survived. What do you think would have happened to this eagle had they not found him in the landfill? He would certainly be dead. Uh, an eagle that can't hunt for itself is going to starve to death in fairly short order. JJ should be ready for release in about a month, and he'll be set free right back at the landfill. Half of the 4,000 acres here is actually a certified wildlife habitat. This is where JJ had and will once again call home.